Welcome back. After suffering their first series sweep of the season last week in Duluth, the UND men's hockey team is hoping a return home to the Ralph can help them get back on track. Two wins won't come easy this weekend against defending national champion Denver, but Bradbury knows the importance of this series, especially with a bye week looming. There's 10 games remaining in the season, but the most important thing is we have two games before we have this bye week coming up, and uh, you know, you always want to end off that that last weekend before the bye week on a positive note here before you get into those last eight games. And, uh, you know, like I said, the, it's key. Everything's tightening up now as far as uh, the standings in the NCHC, and you always want to stay ahead of it here. You know, everybody has to take accountability on, on when they get on the ice as far as the job they have to do, you know, doing their job and making sure that they don't do too much or too less and just kind of drilling down uh, on the basic fundamentals of the game and, and, and not trying to... Uh, overcomplicate things. You gotta, at this time, you got to simplify your game and, and get back to the, what you need to do. You know, it's an experienced team. It's a team that really hasn't lost a, a lot of uh, players from last year's team. And um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a group that we, we know that we've had some success against early on here. So uh, it should be a good rematch uh, as far as what we've had in the past against them. And uh, there's going to be an energy and a focus this weekend. For more now on this weekend's matchup with the Pioneers, let's bring in the television voice for UND Hockey, Alex Heiner from our Grand Forks studios. And Alex, these two teams split when they met in November in the Rockies, but what changes have you seen in both squads since then? Well, Kelly, the big difference for DU, the improvement on the defensive end. The Pios decor was really banged up in the first meeting, but key defensemen Tarek Hammond and Adam Plant are now back to full fitness after long spells out. And Tanner Gillette is back to playing like he did last season when he won the Mike Richter Award as the nation's best goaltender. Denver has allowed just five goals in their last five games. Three of those games were shutouts for DU. So North Dakota will be hard pressed to hang five in one game on the defending champs like they did back in November. For North Dakota, their special teams have taken a huge step back. Ironically, since that weekend in Denver, UND had the second stingiest penalty kill in the country entering that series. They're now second to last in the nation in that category, 59th out of 60 teams since November. You can bet that's been an area of emphasis for this team this week, especially as DU boasts one of the best power play units in the country. All right, well, not great news on that front for UND fans, but on an uplifting note, this weekend series will feature Olympic on both benches. Yes, very cool stuff. We've known for a while that DU's Troy Terry was going to be on Team USA for this February's Winter Games in South Korea. That was kind of a given based on what we've seen from him last year and recently wearing a Team USA shirt. But we were pleasantly surprised when news broke yesterday that UND sophomore forward Ludwig Hoff has made Team Norway. We spoke about him, uh, we spoke with him earlier today, and he mentioned that even though he knew this was a possibility after Norway's coaches had been impressed after seeing him at a tryout camp over Christmas, he was still in a li little bit of shock today and still trying to process that he's actually going to the Olympics. Hoff will play this weekend for UND before departing for Oslo that first week of February. And it's a good thing he's going to be around too. UND might be down their top two centers with Rhett Gardner and Nick Jones questionable for this weekend. Big though, congrats to Ludwig. A great honor to represent his country coming up in Pyeongchang. All right, that's awesome. Agreed, Alex. But game one between number 11 UND and number four Denver will be Friday at 7.30 p.m. on CBS Sports Network. Well, you can catch a game to Saturday at 7 p.m. right here on Midco SN, and I will be there. I can't wait. Coming up after the break, we'll preview all the live action that's coming up tonight. USD at SDSU in women's hoops and Omaha at Denver on the men's side. Stay right here.